Hare Krishna. In today's PowerPoint presentation, our topic is enjoyment or enlightenment. What is our choice? There are five levels of enjoyment, namely sensual, mental, intellectual, egoistic, and spiritual. These are the basic questions that come in mind when we think about enlightenment and enjoyment. Enjoyment in diseased condition. In this world, we are actually enjoying in a very diseased condition and hence we are suffering. But actually, the soul is such an ananda, ever blissful and happy. Our soul is meant to enjoy with Krishna in the spiritual world. Hence, we always seek happiness and pleasure. But the only mistake that we do is we run after the illusory things of this world and forget our Creator, Lord Krishna. Enjoyment without enlightenment leads to destruction. We can see many examples of great personalities who were destroyed by lust, anger, greed, etc. What is wrong with the enjoying mentality? All material enjoyment is nothing but temporary, miserable and illusory. How is material pleasure temporary? Because the body itself is temporary, youth is temporary, the charm of any sense object doesn't last long. The ability of the senses to enjoy is temporary as old age sets in. How is material pleasure miserable? All material pleasure is miserable to acquire, to maintain and to lose. It is miserable to even maintain our material pleasure because it is not in our hands. We cannot control it. And hence, we always have this hankering and lamentation going on in our minds. A question. If material pleasure is miserable to acquire, maintain and lose, then where is the pleasure? This is a very good question that each one of us should ask. The miserable sandwich of material pleasure. Now I'm sure everybody likes to eat sandwiches. Now if you've seen a sandwich, it has three layers. So the miserable sandwich of material pleasure, if you compare it to a normal sandwich, it has a huge layer of hankering. That is the top layer. When will I get it? When will I get this? When will I get that? And then there is a tiny layer of pleasure. That is, I got it. And then below the tiny layer is a huge layer of lamentation. Oh no, I lost it. Or it also could mean, oh no, I am going to lose it. Because as soon as we get something, we develop the fear of losing it. Miserable pleasure. There is just enough pleasure to keep us attached to the misery. This is what the pleasure in this material world is like. For example, drinking delicious poison. Therefore, as long as we desire pleasure, we will never be able to get rid of the misery. Because misery is attached to pleasure and pleasure is attached to misery. How is material pleasure illusory? Material pleasure is not new. It is like chewing the chewed all the time. One person enjoys, throws it, then you start enjoying. Material pleasure is not in the sense objects. Material pleasure doesn't exist anywhere except the mind. And it comes in a combo pack of misery and pleasure. Why is the mind 
our enemy because mind makes us chase after non-existent pleasure of this world we must always remember the time formula temporary illusory miserable enjoyment and once we remember this formula we will never chase after the temporary illusory pleasures of this world our mind is not bad it is not even mad but it is in a sick condition right now the mind is like a sick child the intelligence is like a mother and the guru or the spiritual master is like a doctor who treats our mind and the holy name is ultimately the medicine which will cure the disease of the mind now how can we take this medicine first of all we need to convince our intelligence that i am in a sick condition and then we must engage in devotional service like chanting reading associating with the devotees and reading beautiful scriptures with them and we must hence convince our mind that yes i will take this medicine of devotional service and then will come the ability to tolerate material desires once we start chanting the holy name of the lord all of our material desires will start reducing and ultimately it will burn to ashes hence we must convince our mind that by chanting the holy names of the lord i will not aggravate the disease of mind and by doing all this our mind becomes purified our intelligence becomes purified and hence we get this very positive feeling that yes i am getting cured hence we must chant hari krishna and fight where there is the holy name and the sincere chanter there is wealth opulence morality and victory so we must always chant the holy name of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and cure the disease of our mind thank you hare krishna